Hey guys, I decided I should release this video. Uh, just letting y'all know if anything just seems off with me in terms of just acting this or just how I respond to things or just in general, you know, with things. My cat, Sunny, is missing. Uh, she'd not just go missing now, no. Yesterday I found out that for two days she's been gone. And, well, today marks three. And thing is, we don't go home until four to five o'clock time. Mom doesn't get home until, like, 4.30 herself because that's the schedule she's working this week. She works till 4.30, so she's not home until, like, five. And we got to go to the food bank and all that today, too. So... It's not going to be until, like, after 5, I get to actually go and find my cat. So every hour that passes by, the worry's there, three days. And having the experience with another cat I used to have, BB, you know, it it's really worrisome. Where days just keep piling up. Three days. How can you stay, op how can you stay optimistic with that? How can you stay, you know, positive with that? I'm trying to. i got to keep it off my mind. There's nothing I can do from this time now until I go home. I can't do anything about it. And having to accept that like yesterday, it's gonna be a little bit more harder because well then today I get to actually be home. And it's just that worrisome that something happened to her. Sonny's five. Uh, her and her brother, Bear, uh, and trust me, the freaked up family tree is an interesting one. Uh, you know, they got found as kittens five years ago in a box in a driveway where my landlord and his son's working on, or a house or something like that. And ever since then, she's been a part of the family, and she's had a whole bunch of kids. She gave birth to her own grandkids. As I said, it's a, a screwed up family timetable, tree, whatever it is. Either way, I love her so much. Five years. Five years, no number. I don't want nothing to happen to her. She's one of the cats that actually does not go outside. The rest of my cats do, but Sunny and Phoenix do not. Her and her daughter, no. And Ash, her granddaughter, she's not been acting like herself, but apparently to my mom, she actually has been acting like herself as of recent, has gone inside and is being herself again, which is really good. But the second Ash starts acting like herself, Sunny goes missing. And that is, that is not good. In fact, that is very, very worrisome. I, I don't have to think right now, really. Thoughts are everywhere. I'm going to try, as I said, to keep it off my mind. But I cannot deny my anxiety and stress is through the roof right now. It is absolutely through the roof. This is the one time I asked, please don't be jovial with me. Okay? The PC, you know, go with it. I don't care. But this, I, I don't. I just, please don't. That's my only request. I'm hoping I could find her. Looking in the wrong places is always the ideal thing. And I'm going to be searching everywhere when I get home, and I will, hopefully, and I will promise, actually, to have an update by the end of tonight. Depends what time it will be, you know, that very hour, hours from that point on. I'll make sure to have an update at least before this day is over for you guys. But that that's really all. I don't know what I can say besides, um, I'm scared. I hope she's okay. Just, just need to let you know if things are just, things aren't the same with the channel for a bit. Uh, bye-bye.